So anxious is definitely the attachment style I have. Um, it's high anxiety. Well, that I don't, I don't know if I have it still, but probably getting away from it. You have the capacity for great intimacy. You love to be very close to your romantic partners. You fear the partner doesn't want to be as close as you would like them to be. Relationships consume a large part of your emotional energy and tend to be and tend to be and tend to be sensitive to small fluctuations in partner's moods and actions. Okay, I'm gonna just put this right here because I can't remember all that information. Um, your senses tend to be accurate, but you're gonna take it, I take everything so personally. Oh my God, I do notice everything, but I take it personally. You experience negative emotions and easily upset because you feel like um, you get easily upset because I feel like if we can't go to Bella Noches, then where the, could you go? And just kidding. So I'm feeling like basically if you don't want to hang out with me because one of the love languages I would have is definitely quality time. So I'm feeling like if you don't want to hang out with me, then what's the point of dating? So, but that's going to cause issues because now you're taking it to extremes, you know? And so you act out and say things you later regret i don't think i do that anymore that's the power and tame in your tongue but i know in many relationships i did act out and say just tell people anything call them anything like mm, not okay so secure is a low anxiety person they have effective communication they effectively communicate needs and feelings they're strong at reading their partner's emotional cues and responding to them Y'all are able to share successes and problems and able to be there in times of need. And so the third one is the avoidant. So the avoidant tries to maintain their independence. Why get in a relationship and maintain your independence? Let me know. They are self-sufficient. They like to be self-sufficient. They want to be close, but that just feels too unco uncomfortable for them. And so they don't spend time worrying about the rom romantic relationship or being rejected. Often they're on high alert for signs of control or impingement on your territory by your partner. And you know, this sometimes could be you as well. You could be the one that's trying to maintain your self-sufficiency in auto me in your relationship. You don't want to um, allow them to take away your um your just independence to do whatever you want we all know how that go mm -hmm. so these people the people with different attachment styles differ in their view of intimacy and togetherness the way they deal with conflict their attitude towards sex their ability to communicate their wishes and needs and their expectations from their partner and their relationship. Mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. So effective communication has two goals. Choose the right partner to help you choose the right partner and to make sure your date respond, responds to effective communication. make sure your date has a good response to effective communication because it can reveal more about them in five minutes if they're able to if they like you to be direct that can reveal more in five minutes than you could learn in months of dating this person um so a person um that has good if you communicate with a person and um, you ask them direct questions that person will show sincere a sincere wish to understand your needs and put your well-being first if the person brushes your concerns and as in, insignificant makes you feel inadequate foolish or self-indulgement y'all are perhaps incompatible and their intentions probably aren't the best for your interests 
Effective communication provides a role model for your partner. Like, you communicate how you feel, they'll feel comfortable. They should feel comfortable to communicate how they feel. And y'all, you set the tone for y'all to be in both open and honest in the relationship. So, people's response to effective communication is very telling. Like, y'all better pay attention, pay attention to how someone responds when you communicate to them. It allows you to either avoid getting in a dead end relationship or helps you bring the relationship to a deeper level. One last um, part to this video, y'all. Um, avoid This can be avoided men or women. They are distant. They will find faults in your, their partner and initiate spites to set back progress. They have difficulty saying I love you. And interestingly, though they want to be close to you, they feel compelled to push you away. So it's not because you're not good enough or they aren't that into you. It's actually the contrary. They push you away because they felt the closeness and intimacy with you increasing. And so anxious women, anxious women, um, which was like me, but you know, you can be both. You can be anxious and avoidant at the same time. So I feel like sometimes I could have been both of those, definitely. So anxious women, clingy, they do, um, they start to become more clingy, cling, clingy in the face of distance. Constant thoughts about the relationship, um, constant worrying to the point you can't focus at your job or whatever. Never got that bad for me. But some people, they can't even focus, you know, on their life once, you know, their distant, avoidant man is doing that thing again, becoming super distant. And then they have oversensitivity to everything the partner does. Oh, getting attached means that our brain becomes wired to seek support of our partner by ensuring physiological and physical proximity. If partner fails to reassure us, we are programmed to continue our attempts to achieve closeness, closeness until the partner does. People are only as needy as their unmet needs. So, you know, um, the more effectively dependent people are on one another, the more independent and daring you can become. It's like a paradox. Like one person can't be too overly and one person can't be, you know, it just has to be a balance. And so secure people find it res relatively easy to get close to others and comfortable depending on them and have them depend on you. I don't, they often don't worry about abandonment or someone getting close to them. And so I aspire to be like that, definitely. Hey guys. Um, lastly, I just wanna tell you guys, we usually don't know exactly where God is leading us or just can't see the full picture. However, as we walk by faith and not by sight, seeking God through prayer and his word, we find his voice calling us by name leading us through the narrow opening straight to him and his will for our lives and it's like for example like i think it was wednesday yeah wednesday i prayed like god how do i connect with my community like that's what i wanted to do but i just didn't know how to and so thursday is when i was listening to this sermon that made me post um my first video on instagram of speaking on god sometimes lets the flame of your passions die in you so he can use you for what he wants to do in you next like not with your passion like what you think you want to do with your life what when you lose that passion for that he can give you the passion back but for his will not for your own personal success this always you'll know it's from god because it helps other people it doesn't just involve only your selfish ambition or gain so I don't know who needs to hear that, but knowing the will for God, you never know the whole picture, but just know the whole picture involves helping other people in your community because God wants everybody to be involved and he doesn't want anything selfish. We're all about serving in this. His kingdom is for serving purposes. If you you all about yourself, you're going to have to learn that 
it is better to serve guys there's the servant is no better than the master like whoever you're working over they're no better than you than you serving them so you always want to serve people like when i get to my highest level of whatever it is the person under me like a assistant or anything i'm not gonna treat them like they're beneath me they're no better than me because i had to be a assistant or a servant at one point in life so that's just a quick word and i love you guys and i hope you guys have a blessed the rest of your day i'll come with another video tomorrow and i won't look as crazy so bye